Hey parents, I hope this finds you well on this Thursday. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about questions. In fact, we're going to be talking about the story of Thomas. And you guys can find the story in John chapter 20, verses 19 through 29. Now, we all know the story about Doubting Thomas. In fact, he gets a bad rap, you know, I just called him Doubting Thomas. And so the story goes like this. You know, Jesus is raised from the dead, and we know that's the Easter story. We talked about that last week. And Thomas says, you know what? I'm not going to believe it. I won't believe it unless I can take my hands and stick them in his side and stick them in the scars in his hands. And Jesus comes, and he comes to Thomas, and he says, okay, Thomas, here I am. Stick your hands wherever you want. And Thomas does, and he believes. And I think we can give Thomas a bad rap for doubting, but I think there's something very key here that you and I need to know about communicating to our preteens and our kids. Questions and doubts are okay. Jesus never reprimanded Thomas for having doubts. Jesus embraced them and said, come and check it out. And I think that's what we want to talk about with your kids this Sunday. That questions are okay. That God wants us to be honest about our doubts. God wants us to be honest about our questions. In fact, I believe that questions are a normal part of discovering of what God wants us to be like. You know, when we can read some things in the Bible and we can have questions, we don't understand exactly what it's trying to tell us. And questions... And how we struggle through that is how we learn. God wants us to embrace those. God wants us to understand that we aren't going to understand everything. And God wants us to know that it's okay. And we want to let our kids know that it's okay to ask questions. Church is a great environment for kids to ask questions. And we encourage your kids to do that very same thing. To ask questions, to be inquisitive, to try to seek to understand. And we want you to create an environment in your home that lets them know that it's safe for them to ask questions. And sometimes that's just saying, hey, if you have ever have any questions, to this conversation with you and your kids, of telling them, if you ever have any questions about what you learned about in church, we want you to know that it's okay to ask us questions. We want you to know that it's okay to have doubts. And sometimes it helps even more if you let your kids know that you have doubts sometimes too. That sometimes you have questions, too, that you don't have answers to. That you don't know everything. And I don't know everything either. And I just want you to know that it's okay to have questions. God is bigger than our questions. And that's going to be our bottom line. And our question for this week, speaking of questions, is going to be what questions do you have for God? Maybe it's what questions you have about God. God wants us to have those questions and God wants us to seek to have answers to those questions and we want to create an environment partner with you as parents to create an environment both in church and in your home that it tells your kids and tells the kids of the church that it's safe and okay to have questions remember Jesus never reprimanded Thomas for having questions in fact he embraced it and said test and test and see here it is and so Create that type of environment in your home. Help us create that type of environment here in the church. Thank you so much for being a part of our BNC family.